Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget. Well, today's video is about eyebrows. Um, I've been wanting to make this for a while because I can never find the right eyebrow product. I find something and I come on, oh, wow, wow, wow. Well. And I come and think, oh, that's great, that's great. And then in a couple of weeks something happens or a week something happens or it wears off too quick or something. So what I've done, because I need, you know I need your help sometimes. Well, I need your help all the time, guys, but you know sometimes more than others. Um, I've got a very, very types of eyebrow products. And I thought if I try each one on, show you how it applies, do really up close what it looks like on my eyes. You can tell me what you think. I know what I think, but because I've gone through a, quite a few and these are the, the ones that I broke it down to. Um, I know what I think, but if you don't think the same as me, it doesn't matter. You know, I always say to you guys, I know you've all got my best interest at heart. So if whatever you say, Bella, that doesn't look awful, that looks right, or that, whatever you want to say, you know, I always take your word, guys. Now then, um, let's get into it. So this is the three things that I tested. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start with um, the Rimmel Eye Powder, Eyebrow Powder. Now, if you remember a video a little while ago, I raved about this, and I did, I liked it when I got it. Um, I don't think it lasts long enough, and I think it's too heavy for me. You can see what I mean, but these are my own brows. I've got nothing on my brows at the moment. So my own brows are dark, whereas my hair is blonde now. So if I put anything too dark on... Um, it just looks ridiculous but if I put anything too blonde on then this part is dark and this part is fair so let's just see here what a, the first thing I'm putting on is the powder so let's get a bit of the product on I'm going to wipe 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 and let's try what we can do here I have to keep quiet when I'm doing this guys <laughs> Not like me, is it? See, I think that's kind of jaggedy. So let's brush that in. I just don't feel it's it's even. Mm, I don't. Maybe it's me, I just can't use it. I'm, as I say, I'm no good at my brows. Okay. So let's have a go at the other side. That seems to have gone a bit easier. And these brows are normally the one that's harder to do. It's also slightly more arched. We haven't got identical brows, have we, guys? Now it's quick. But I probably need a gel to keep it on. So I'll come as close as I can. So that is the Rimmel Brow Powder. I've got a little allergy come up here because I've tried so many powders in the last couple of days. So that's the Rimmel. Okay, I'll list all these below for you guys, you know I do. So let's go on to the next oh. one. Number two guys, next one is a palette and this is by Makeup Revolution. You know I love those. Um, now I've had a few of these palettes but this bigger one has sort of got more choices in it. So I thought I would give it a try. It's not as quick as a pencil. Um, and by any means it is any quick as a, as a pencil. So you've got a couple of powders. You've got obviously your waxes. And then your brow colours and highlights. Um, so what I'm going to do... 
here I'm going to put a little bit of this wax on first I think that's what you do and shape your brow so that it gives the powder something to hold on to you can see my brows are very badly I'm not I, I plucked so much in the 80s guys I told you before so this is not a brown wax because that's too hard uh, for my hair now there is a brown wax but I personally wouldn't use that for my brows okay so I'm going to go in to what is the lightest colour which is this one here and just very gently dab on there and do this as gently as I can no way no way okay let's brush that through count your chickens yet Bella so I would definitely have to neaten the top up and see and I still think it looks very jaggedy Clink clank, brushing upwards, so I can come closer. I don't think it matches, and that is the various colour in the box. There's gaps here, which obviously I could fill in, but if I fill in, I'm adding more products, and it's going to become even darker. So let's try, throw everything everywhere, done everything. Okay, let's try again. We'll go back with the very, that's it, do the clear because I wanted to use the clear. Now, you know what, guys, that's no good because I've still got it on from the other. Oh, it's the same stuff, though. Yeah, I wonder if that would work actually, mixing them together. That seems better, doesn't it? So, this one I put the gel on first. The um, yeah, gel on first, and then I put the powder on top. This one I've, I've sort of mixed. Let's have a go at that then. So we'll put a little bit there. I mean, this is going to mix this up in the pot, which is not going to work very well. We'll put that on there, take the excess off. It's very dark, but but let me just um. Lose everything, guys. What's wrong with me? There it is. I'm sitting on it. No wonder I can't find it. So let's brush that up. Helicopter. They're not after me, guys. <laughs> so up, brush that up. Now. So that was putting the uh, wax, wax, that's it. The wax on first, and then wh why does it always come over for me? Wax on first, and then the powder. And that one was mixing the two very gently together with a very, very light hand. So try and come as close as I can so you can see. Well, that one's a lot better, I think, guys. What do you think? So that's... I haven't been doing my foundation very well. So that's the Makeup Revolution. And there's a lot of choices. Um, that's that palette. I like that better than the powder. So far, this is the best one, I think. Let's do the next one. Okay, guys. The last one I've got to show you is a pencil. This one is from MUA. You can get lots of these, can't you? Different pencils. I've tried blonde in this one. It's got a little brush one end. And make sure it's really sharp. And let's see how we go with this one. Where's that little... Uh... <laughs> Where is? Let's do a little bit of brushing. I've got to say, guys, I've got to say, I had absolutely no hair here and absolutely no hair here. 
for years and years and I just thought it was totally dead to be honest and then I started removing my makeup with coconut oil and it can only be about how long since I've done that six months if that look here I'm sure it's a coconut oil now let's have a go at this one so we've got the little brush which I prefer a spoolie actually but we'll use it as we've got it then the pencil lean your arm on something as I say this is blonde message now <laughs> and you've got this coming back my videos are so exciting <laughs> Okay, so that's the Okay guys, so that's the Emmy Ray pencil. Come up close to you. Now I personally like this the best. Um, I was really worried about trying to bronze pencils, as I said, because my own eyebrows are quite dark. But it blends in and it's not dark. I think even the others in the fairer colour can be a bit too dark for me. That's what I think. Because you're seeing me not do like my eyes because sometimes we misjudge ourselves, don't we? So I really want you to tell me guys which one is best. I like this one best but if you don't just say actually better you know you look a little bit better now. Okay so what do you think? Now I did choose the MUA pencil which is what I've got on now. I think that's soft, um, I don't think it's OTT, I think it, even though my hair is, my front of my breast is quite dark, I still think it blends in quite nicely. So what do you think guys? Did you choose that one? If you picked another one, or even more so, if you know one that is going to work for me, or you think will work for me, or works for you, and you know, you could highly recommend it if you've got Holy Grail, Tell me, guys, because it's the one thing I just cannot find my holy grail on. Um, well, now, what was it I wanted to show you from last month? Oh, I bet I put it away. No, I've been sitting on it again. <laughs> um, do you remember last month I got this, guys? This was the MUA pencil. Do you remember? Well, the one end had the cream that you could put under here lime with them. and that was a nice, nice idea but it was so soft it was just you can see it broke off I don't know if you can even see and the other end oh guys umpteen times look it just just falls apart ages and ages years I'd say I used Laura Geller's pencil universal brow pencil which I love um but it's a bit more expensive, which is okay if it's worth it, you know, if it's something I really... But it's it's still a little darkness. It's so hard to get it right when you've been brunette all your life and now I'm blonde. It's kind of, it's harder to know, you know, what to choose. So help me with that one, guys. Thank you. And... Um, I'll see you again on Tuesday. I hope you have a lovely weekend and you're with your loved ones and you take care of yourselves and I love you all. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.